and I'm Alexa. This Willard Monthly is all about interviews, upcoming events, and highlights of school events. Over a few weeks ago, we had our back to school night, right Victoria? That's right Alexa. Now let's, let's take, take a, a look, look at, at the interviews, pictures, and more. Right now, we're in first period in Miss O'Neill's class. This is Miss O'Neill's Wall of Fame, which is all the students' work. Tell us what the parents are doing right now. I'm being happy too. So the parents are working on a bell work activity, which is something similar to what their students do in my class. They're given five minutes to do that activity, after which time they're expected to complete a goal setting activity that follows along with the five expectations I have for their students. And hopefully their students are helping them work through these goals because each of them has a responsibility for completing those goals. Events. Speed Rally this Friday, October 5th at lunch featuring football and girls volleyball. Football tournament Saturday, October 6th at Bailey High School. Girls volleyball Saturday, October 6th at Bailey High School. No school for students Monday, October 8th. Para conferences Monday, October 8th. All dance October 25th. First five people to say ASB rocks in room 1218 gets a free ticket to the dance. Two weeks ago we had our first pep rally. Let's take a look at the photos, interviews, and videos. Yo! Some reviews from students about the pep rally. My favorite part of the pep rally is when the teachers participated with the kids. My favorite part of the pep rally was when the ASB students participated. My favorite part of the pep rally was when ASB and the students and all the teachers were participating in the activities. Recently, some of our Aaron and ASB students had a chance to go to the UCLA football game and college fair. Let's take a look at the pictures. Also, let's check out the interview with Ms. Struin 
about school rules and expectations. How's your first month of really going? The first month has been just outstanding. We've had a lot of really great things happening. Um, you guys at ASB did a wonderful job at our first pep assembly, and we've had a lot of opportunities for our kids, everything from going to see um, Nigel on So You Think You Can Dance field trip. We've had kids that went to Avid, to UCLA, had a lot of really great things going on, and the behaviors have been awesome. We've seen a lot of respect, I've seen students in class on time, and I see students really working hard in classes, which is super important. And I think our kids, our students also really took um, the testing seriously and did the best they could do, and I see teachers that are prepared every day, and we're, I'm super excited, we're gonna have a great year. Yeah. Um, what inspired you to be a principal? What inspired me to be a principal? Well, I, I was a classroom teacher for a long time. I used to teach math, and I've taught both at middle school and high school math. And I loved math, and I loved um, helping kids to see that math is, math is not scary, and every kid is capable of doing math. You just have to try sometimes a little bit harder. Yeah. But it, what inspired me to become a principal was I felt like with um, being in, in charge of a school, I had an opportunity to make more of a difference for kids. When I was in a classroom, I had 160 kids, or 200, depending on where I was teaching, total that I saw all day. But as a principal, I have a chance to make a difference with hundreds of kids. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, are you excited for the football game? I am super excited for the football game. Which football game are you referring to? Um, the first one. Which one? Like a Santa Ana High School, you mean? Or do you mean for us? For, for, us. for us? Okay. I didn't know if you meant, because our, our band does go play for, for um, eighth grade band night, so I didn't know if you were referring to that or the other. Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm also excited that it's girls volleyball, too, I believe, that's going to be playing. And before that, we even have track coming up. Track? Yeah, or, I mean, cross country is coming up. So super excited for that as well. It's awesome. Our kids are doing a lot of different things, just like we had speech and debate recently. If I could say one thing to our kids, our students here, the more you are involved in school, the better you'll do in school, and the more that you get involved in the school, the more you actually want to be at school because there's something fun for you to do. So get involved in something. Try out a club. Try out something new that you've never tried before. You never know. You might like it. What's your favorite thing about the students? My favorite thing about the students? Oh, that's a hard one. There's lots of things that I love about this. I love that, that our students are kind. Yeah. I see that our students are really kind to one another. And that's, that's super important to me, just to have a, a school where students are kind. Um, what's your favorite thing about Willard? My favorite thing about Willard? Um, there's lots of things I love about Willard, but I think more, most, mostly one of the things that I'm really happy about with Willard is that we've really grown a lot yeah. um, in the four years that I've been here. I think you my guys... mom used to go here. Yeah, my mom used to go here. Oh, did they? Yeah. So they think it's different? Yeah. So I think that we've really grown a lot to make a lot of positive changes here. Just things like before um, you guys got here probably, um, we didn't used to have a zero period option where students could take PE zero period so they can have more opportunities during the day. And you know, we really, we try really hard to try to offer as much as we can for our kids here. And so, you know, as students, if you guys have ideas, come talk to us, and we would love to listen to your ideas and see if there's things that we can do to make things better. Okay, that, that's it. That's it? Yeah, thank you well, for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. You guys have a great rest of the day. Last month, several students competed in the first speech and debate tournament of the year. Let's take a look at pictures and videos. Let's check out the eSports interview with Ms. Compton. My name is Ignacio and I'm here with... Mrs. Compton! And uh, we're going to ask you a few questions about the eSports club. Okay, let me pause my game. Hold on. Yes. Okay. Alright, um, question number one. What is the eSports club? Okay, eSports club. eSports stands for electronic sports. So it's games like League of Legends, Overwatch, uh, CSGO. All of those are considered competitive eSports. And what do they do? So 
So basically, you have to work together with a team to complete a goal. So for League of Legends, you have a team of five, and they have to work together to basically destroy another's, uh, another team's base. Uh, why did you start the club? I started the esports club because one, who doesn't like gaming? Um, and two, um, it's actually becoming extremely popular now to the point where you can actually get scholarships to college now for playing in esports. Do you need to be at a certain standard to be in the club? Absolutely. I only want the best of the best. So you need to have the grades, you have to have a C or better in all your classes, and you have to have good standing with referrals and behavior. Doesn't mean that if you have a bad grade, you can't join. Just means you have to raise it in order to play on the team. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Compton. You're welcome. Can I go back to my game now? Yeah. Okay. Pew, pew. Anytime. 